This is Tubal Cain again with part two of the sign bar. Be sure and watch part one if you haven't already seen it. Now the sign bar is still set at 12 degrees 30 minutes, that's 12 and a half degrees. And uh, I'm just trying to show you several different applications for the sign bar. So I've got a piece of stock on here with uh, <clears throat> a layout die on it and my height gauge and I'm just going to scribe a line on it and that line will of course be exactly 12 and a half degrees uh, in comparison to the bottom of the work or the surface plate so we'll just scribe that and there we have a line if it shows up that is exactly 12 and a half degrees now let's try some other applications on the other machines. Now here's an example of how you might use a sign bar on a lathe. So I'm on the closing lathe and we've got uh, the small 3 inch sign bar set for uh, 12 and a half degrees yet. I used the big sign bar before. This is a smaller one. The big one would be most awkward to use on this because they're hard to use when they're in the horizontal position like this. So what I've done is I've taken the, uh, the little sign bar and I've got three magnets here, ceramic magnets, and I've got uh, the thing fastened along with the spacers onto the compound of the lathe. I preset the compound for around 12 and a half degrees, the best you could see, and the, the regular protractor is way over on the other side, so it's, it's a little bit hard to see. Uh, and uh, then I put an indicator on here, and I've been running the uh, uh, cross slide back and forth until I've got a pretty close to a zero reading. So let's see if we can show that now try to zoom that in if I can. Got a heck of a glare on the uh, indicator so I'm going to shade that just a little bit and we'll run this across and you're going to see that I got it within about a thousandth. There may be times when you want to set your compound that accurately. See I'm within a thousandth at this time on a three inch run. I could spend a little more time and get get it just a hair closer. I'm not going to for this demonstration purposes. But should you need to set it real accurate, this is one way of doing it. I do not think that you could use this big one uh, on there. And it's too heavy to be held by magnets. So that little one is pretty handy for this purpose. Okay, here's another way to use the sign bar, and I'm going to use the little 3 inch sign bar. And we're going to uh, create an angle that's 4 degrees 36 minutes, and we'll get that by using a quarter inch riser block. And in this case, I'm using a ground lathe tool bit, which happens to be exactly quarter inch. I kind of worked backwards in these trig tables to, determines, to determine that. And that is, is that showing up? 250 thousandths. And when we lay that into the vices, vice jaws, and then we use this very thin little three inch sign bar, lay it in there like that, we have now created a uh, four degree, 36 minute parallel. Actually, it's not parallel, but you get the gist. Now your work could be laid on that. I've got the vice jaws wide open, but we would pull that in and it's thin enough to where it wouldn't interfere with the vice closing. And then you could drill your holes or mill or whatever your operation was that required that, that angle. There isn't a great deal of depth on these vice jaws here, so there isn't much space left above it to lay your work on. You also could slide this out of there after you have uh, pinched your work in case you're drilling all the way through and didn't want to damage the uh, sign bar. This particular application for uh, this uh, spindle square 
was suggested in the directions uh, that came along with it. So uh, I'll do that demonstration and we're going to tilt the head for 12 and a half degrees and then we're going to uh, test it with this tramming device or the spindle square I should call it and we've got the uh, sign bar all set up at 12 and a half degrees on the table. The vise has been removed. If you have a very accurate vise you can do this uh, even while the vise is installed but mine was off anyway so uh, I'm going with this uh, particular method. Now first of all loosen up all four bolts here and loosen them only slightly like a quarter of a turn and then over here we turn this bolt and we've got a protractor here and I think that's going to show up good with my high definition and I've got it set at 12 and a half or pretty close and believe it or not when I went to check this I was fairly close so let's bring that down and I'll watch those indicators so we're about one came up to zero and one did not be sure and look at my other video uh, where I do use this spindle square so I'm just going to adjust a little bit off camera until both of them come up zero and then I'll show that again okay I've reset it and it's coming pretty darn close to zero now watch this as I raise the table watch the two indicators come up to zero at the same time and I'm going to zoom that in if I can and try it again and I'm holding a piece of cardboard to try to get rid of the reflection I think it's working pretty good but I'm going to raise the table now watch the needles come up to zero together and that shows you now that I have the head tilted at a true 12 degrees 30 minutes no nonsense with the protractor that is uh, only fairly close now that's another uh, application for the sign bar uh, I'm sure there's thousands of different uses I've just given you a little idea of uh, how you might use a sign bar but mostly uh, what you might use a sign bar for is uh, uh, applications that would come out of your own imagination on just about any machine they also make a tool called a sign plate which is something like a sign bar only it's a larger working surface and there are some of them that tilt in both directions this is Tubal Kane signing out for now saying so long.